The BrahMos The BrahMos is a short-range ramjet supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft or land. It is a joint venture between the Russian Federation's NPO Mashinostro Ioni and India's Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, who have together formed BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. It is based on the Russian P-800 Onyx cruise missile and other similar sea-scheming Russian cruise missile technology. The name BrahMos is a portmanteau formed from the names of two rivers, the Brahmaputra of India and the Moskva of Russia. It is the world's fastest cruise missile in operation. The missile travels at speeds of Mach 2.8 to 3.0. The land-launched and ship-launched versions are already in service, with the air and submarine-launched versions currently in the testing phase. An air-launched variant of BrahMos is planned which came out in 2012 and made India the only country with supersonic cruise missiles in their army, navy, and air force. A hypersonic version of the missile, BrahMos II, is also presently under development with speed of Mach 7 to boost aerial fast strike capability. It is expected to be ready for testing by 2017. Though India had wanted the BrahMos to be based on a mid-range cruise missile like P-700 Granit, Russia opted for the shorter-range sister of the missile, P-800 Onyx, in order to comply with missile technology control regime restrictions, to which Russia is a signatory. Its propulsion is based on the Russian missile, and missile guidance has been developed by BrahMos Aerospace. The missile is expected to reach a total order worth 13 billion US dollars. The Kali, a kilo ampere linear injector, is a linear electron accelerator being developed in India by the Defence Research Development Organisation, DRDO, and the Babha Atomic Research Centre, BARC. It is not a laser weapon as commonly believed in scientific term, Kali stands for Kilo Ampere Linear Injector. It is designed to work in such a way that if an enemy missile is launched in Indian direction, it will quickly emit powerful pulses of relativistic electrons beams, REB, and destroy the target in no time. Unlike laser beams, it does not bore a hole in the target but thoroughly damages the onboard electronic systems. Scientists say that it can potentially be used as a beam weapon. Bursts of microwaves packed with gigawatts of power, 1 gigawatt is 1,000 million watts, produced by this machine, when aimed at enemy missiles and aircrafts will cripple their electronic system and computer chips and bring them down right away. According to scientists the Kali is far deadlier than so-called laser weapons that destroy by drilling holes since this process consumes time. Its efficiency has pushed scientists to look forward to invent a high-power microwave gun to destroy incoming aircrafts and missiles, based on the same method. Mangalyaan The Mars Orbiter Mission, MOM, also called Mangalyaan is a space probe orbiting Mars since September 24, 2014. It was launched on November 5, 2013 by Thean Dian Space Research Organization, ISRO. It is India's first interplanetary mission and ISRO has become the fourth space agency to reach Mars, after the Soviet space program, NASA, and the European Space Agency. It is the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit, and the first nation in the world to do so in its first attempt. The Mars Orbiter mission probe lifted off from the first launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sriharikota Range Shar, Andhra Pradesh, using a polar satellite launch vehicle, PSLV, rocket C-25 at 9.08 UTC on November 5, 2013. The launch window was approximately 20 days long and started on October 28, 2013. The MOM probe spent about a month in Earth orbit where it made a series of seven apogee-raising orbital maneuvers before Trans-Mars injection on November 30, 2013, UTC. After a 298-day transit to Mars, it was successfully inserted into Mars orbit on September 24, 2014. The mission is a technology demonstrator project to develop the technologies for designing, planning, management, and operations of an interplanetary mission. It carries five instruments that will help advance knowledge about Mars to achieve its secondary, scientific objective. The spacecraft is currently being monitored from the Spacecraft Control Center at ISRO Telemetry, Tracking and Command Network, ISTRAC, in Bangalore with support from Indian Deep Space Network, IDSN, Antennae at Bialalu. The total cost of the mission was approximately 450 crore, 73 million US dollars 
making it the least expensive Mars mission to date. The low cost of the mission was ascribed by K. Radhakrishnan, the chairman of ISRO, to various factors, including a modular approach, few ground tests and long, 18-20 to 20 hour, working days for scientists. BBC's Jonathan Amos mentioned lower worker costs, homegrown technologies, simpler design, and significantly less complicated payload than NASA's MAVEN. An opinion piece in The Hindu pointed out that the cost was equivalent to less than a single bus ride for each of India's population of 1.2 billion.